The uh, trending topics now, it's almost 25 minutes past six, so this is the list that we've uh, seen as we woke up first this morning, so I think spring day is still, it's still trending. It's still there, yeah, yeah. and uh, people posting all sorts of pictures in colourful outfits and uh, pictures of flowers, and uh, the flowers remind me of the fact that I had every intention this year yeah. of actually going to Namakwaland for... Um, I remember the, you speaking about the, that. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, it I, didn't happen though. Okay. All and, right. and, and I'm quite sad about it. Yeah, it I'll, is. Well, hopefully next year. Ah, uh, well, listen. It is. Yeah. It's spring day, and well, it was spring day yesterday. We and and, and, and I think there lots of happy people hoping for, you know, a, a very sort of different feel around us at the moment. Mm. So let's hope for new things and uh, and beautiful, blessed things as we watch the flowers blossom. So yeah, that's Absolutely. that's spring day. We still haven't got it right though in terms of our color code, but we'll get there. And then, well, we tried harder yeah, than we did yesterday. Yeah, it looks more like autumn. Autumn leaf. day, I know, between the two. Then That's it does. Much, spring. much more like an autumn day, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> okay, then the next one is Greg Leakes. Um, I'll leave this one yeah. to you. I'm sort well, of learning Greg about Leakes, Greg as you speak um, to me about him. Uh, husband, you, you know what I do for fun? Mm. Because when I leave here in the afternoons, after a whole day of hard news for the better part of the morning <laughs> switch off i switch off and i want to watch yeah. the most mindless stuff i yeah. can find yeah and this is one of my favorite programs that um greg leaks was on uh real housewives of atlanta mm. and it's a reality show it's a franchise in the u.s and um in the real housewives of atlanta greg leaks is husband to nini leaks or he was because he passed away yes I and now uh, we did see on the show he was um uh, dealing with cancer Sure. And uh, she posted a few days ago that he actually only had a few more days left to live. Oh, so, so um, yeah, no surprise. I think we were all expecting it, waiting for it. And uh, Greg Leakes has passed Shame. away. Shame, that's terrible. All yeah. right, so 66 years old, colon cancer, unfortunately. So that's uh, that's the the, uh, the, the the trend of, of Greg Leakes. And uh, yeah, let's, let's move on to the next one now, Concord. And this is quite, quite an interesting one because I think a lot has been said about it, but I think it all emanated, and this was all from yesterday. Yesterday. I mean, we were we were on air yesterday, and while we were there, we saw this a thread of tweets coming out from uh, Helen Ziller, and Helen Ziller was was kind of coming out questioning, you know, the what happened from the ANC side that they had, you know, suddenly said that they won't be going and uh, trying to reopen the register. So, what Helen Ziller went and tweeted, and I think this just started a, a whole conversation, is Dibalga this morning, this was from yesterday, doesn't mince its words, in its headline, it suggested that the ANC must have received inside information from the Constitutional Court, which led to the ANC withdrawing its case before the Electoral Court to reopen candidate registration. Next thread. The context is this. If the Concord enables the IEC to postpone the election, then it presses the reset, bu reset button and it issues a new timetable which will enable the ANC to re-register its candidates. So, the ANC would not have to get permission from the Electoral Court. Then she goes on to say the ANC's withdrawal from the Electoral Court indicates that they have been tipped off that the IEC's application to postpone the election was successful. If information is leaking from the Concord to ANC, it is nothing short of a constitutional crisis. Mm. So, so, so again, just uh, to contextualize that, Helen Zilla was actually um, picking up on an article that appeared in Die Burger yes. yesterday, and um, the comments in the main attributable to um, a, a, a political analyst, um, Divanacher. Uh, so uh, that's what she picked up on and she tweeted that but uh, basically I spoke to her yesterday and yeah she feels that you know um, perhaps if, if, if this is the case then there is something to be concerned about mm -hmm. uh, with regard to the constitutional court but she also pressed on saying to me that why was there so much silence around the revelation uh, at the Zonda Commission that there was a slush fund in the state security agency that was used to pay off people. Remember that testimony mm -hmm. um, where you had um, uh, officials from the security agency talking about these slush funds. Um, hundreds of millions of rands just wasted. But uh, we never heard from Arthur Fraser. Yeah at the Zondo Commission yeah, it's a, it's and a point, you know big all of that, that was just left hanging yeah uh, it was said that there were judges who were paid there were journalists who were paid and it was just left hanging
yeah, and, yeah. And, and that's one of the questions that I, I still would love to have answered. All right, well, that's the, that's the trend there for Concord, so there's a lot around mm. it. And, uh, and, and finally, it's uh, Konje, Konje Ama, Ama 2000. 2K. Ama 2000, Ama 2K. So it's a yeah. fun one. This is just it a, is fun, a fun, one fun one. That's doing its rounds on, on social media, and everybody's reminiscing about the 2000s. I don't think we've got time to get into it because we're yeah. in the news headline time, but it's good fun, and everybody just reminiscing. So yeah, about talking about what the 2000s sweets. don't know things that we had growing up and the 2000s not sitting back they like hey, these 80s and 90s out here bragging about outdated things of the past until you ask them to create a folder on a pc <laughs> yeah, then there's big trouble <laughs> then there's big trouble it's good fun it is good fun all right so there we go at 6 30 let's get into your news headlines now